हेलो फ्रेंड्स क्वेश्चन इज द डेप्थ ऑफ सेंटर ऑफ प्रेशर ऑन ए वर्टिकल रेक्टेंगुलर गेट एट मीटर वाइड एंड सिक्स मीटर हाई व्हेन द वाटर सरफेस कॉन्साइड्स विद द टॉप ऑफ द गेट इज फॉर्मूला इज स्टार इक्वल टू आई एच बार प्लस एच बार डायरेक्ट फॉर्मूला ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज फॉर रेक्टेंगुलर है टू बाई थ्री एच टू बाई थ्री टू सिक्स टू फोर मीटर आंसर इज सी और दिस फॉर्मूला वी कैन यूज आई डब्ल्यू एच क्यू बाई टूल्व हियर डब्ल्यू इज एट इंटू सिक्स क्यू बाई टूल एरिया इज डब्ल्यू इंटू एच एट इंटू सिक्स एच बार डिस्टन्स ऑफ सी जी सिक्स बाई टू थ्री एच स्टार इक्वल टू If you put, we will get answer फोर meter. Meta center is the point of intersection of a vertical upward force थ्रो CG of body and center line of the body. B buoyant force and the center line of body. Mid point between CG and center of buoyancy, all of the above. मेटा सेंटर इज द पॉइंट ऑफ इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ बी बोय एंड फोर्स एंड द सेंटर लाइन ऑफ द बॉडी द रेशियो ऑफ इनर्सिया फोर्स टू इलास्टिक फोर्स इज इट्स मैक नंबर वी वाई सी V is actual velocity, C is sonic velocity. The center of gravity of the volume of the liquid displaced by an immersed body is called center of buoyancy. The time of oscillation. of a floating body with increase in metacentric height height will be time t equal to 2 pi root over of k square g gm gm is metacentric height if gm is increase then time period will decrease the time of oscillation of a floating body with increase in metacentric height will be lower see then for measuring flow by a venturi meter it should be installed in vertical line yes horizontal line yes inclined yes any direction so the answer is any direction hot air anemometer is used to measure pressure in gases no liquid discharge no pressure in liquids no gas velocity d is the answer rotameter is used to measure rotameter venturi meter and pitot tube all three are important रोटामीटर यूज रोटामीटर वेंचुरी बोथ आर सेम और डिस्चार्ज हियर वेंचुरी मीटर आल्सो डिस्चार्ज पिटर ट्यूब मेजर्स फर्स्ट प्रायोरिटी स्टैग्नेशन प्रेशर नेक्स्ट स्टैटिक प्रेशर If both are not given, then go for 
velocity then discharge if all are given then priority is p stagnation stagnation pressure flow of water in a pipe about 3 meters of dia can be measured by orifice flat no venturi no rotameter no nozzle no e peter tube with the answer the specific speed of the turbine is given by for turbine n is equal to n root p divided by h to the power 5 by 4 here one thing remember p in kilowatt and for pump n is n root q h to the power 3 by 4 here q is the discharge h is manometric head multi-stage centrifugal pump are used to this question was asked in 2016 ISRO examination give high discharge produce high heads pump viscous fluids d high pressure high pressure is the answer it is official answer in ISRO website you can get it minimum speed for starting delivery in a centrifugal pump depends on overall efficiency no mechanical efficiency volumetric efficiency d manometric efficiency d is the answer if v1 and v2 b velocity at inlet and outlet then loss of head due to sudden enlargement is proportional to it is v1 minus p2 whole square by 2g it is equal to if you take common v1 square by 2g into 1 minus area at inlet by area at exit square so answer is c head loss during opening of a valve in a pipeline the flow is its unsteady flow The Darcy Wispatch equation is commonly used for finding we want to find head loss due to friction. It is F L V square by two G D equal to F L Q square by twelve D to the power five. F is friction coefficient. It is 64 by R E. Answer is loss of head due to friction in pipe. Yes, A is the answer. Thank you.